Hey my friends, welcome to this week's episode. We're going to be talking about five steps that you need to take if you wanna make a dream, a goal, a reality. And if you have missed any of my January content and you are falling off the boat for New Year's resolutions, it is not too late, don't worry. You can check out my podcasts, Put On Your Big Girl Pants is the name of my podcast, and my book that I just submitted, to a publisher, so I'm so excited. And as well as my website, CamilleBauer.com. And my YouTube channel is the same, Camille Bauer. So check those out if you've missed previous episodes and you need help setting goals and getting the motivation to help you move forward. Because that's what life is about, is growing, evolving, becoming a better version of you. And when you do that, that generates happiness, peace, and joy where none other substitute can give you the longevity and the reoccurring happiness that growth can. Okay, let's just dive right into it. The number one step you need to make is know your why. Why are you doing something? I know we talked about this and I explained it a little deeper in earlier um, weeks this January. So if you don't know your why, Go revisit some of those episodes. Also, I do mentoring and coaching. So if you are feeling like you need someone to hold your hand and help you through it, I would be honored to do that. I am so grateful and so full of joy and happiness that I can help others get through their hard because of the hard that I have been through in my life. So if this sounds like you, if you're needing help, you can hop on my website, CamilleBauer.com. You could click on mentoring and then you can go see my schedule and sign up for a discovery, a free discovery call where we can just chat it up and see if uh, we're, we're a good fit. So, okay, number two. So once you figure out your why, I want you to define a deadline, okay? You need to give yourself, whether it's one year, six months, three months, you need to give yourself a deadline, there is power in that. So write it down, put it out there, put a little note on your phone, tell a best friend, tell your dog, whatever. Put that out in the universe with a deadline. Because let's be honest, if you don't have a deadline, you don't have a plan, which is number three, all you have is a dream that is just a fairy tale that is never going to happen. So follow these steps and you will be able to see results. So, okay, going on the plan. So once you have know your why, you've, def you've put a definite deadline down, create a plan, come up with a plan. It could look like you want this kind of optimal health. What are you gonna do to get there? There's so many different modes and vehicles. It can become overwhelming when you start to research what your plan needs to be. My advice is go to a source that is who you admire, who you wanna be like, and follow and see what their plan was, and then that can kind of help guide you. So if you have some great mentors, um, some good uh, people that are how you wanna be, look at what they're doing. Pay attention to that. And you can help duplicate their plan and there are so many um, different avenues and like I say, modes of transportation, depending on what your why is, what you want, and what you need to do. So creating your plan, whatever that needs to look like. And number four, start now. Like, if you are listening to me on my podcast and you're driving, then put a mental note and a pin in it of, taking action, like starting now, whether that's you're percolating the thoughts in your mind. If you're watching this at home and you have a pen nearby or your phone and you can make a note, like put it in there right now. Start before you're ready. You will never be ready. Like people always wait for that Monday to start a diet or for next month to, to get to where I wanna be or next year or whatever. No, your time is now. Time is precious. And if you have lost a loved one like I have, it has completely changed um, my outlook on life. 
and how I move through life and deal with a lot of situations. Um, I'm able to be more patient and loving and understanding because I know that today could be the last day for lots of people, including those that we love, including those that annoy us, including your dreams and your plans and what you want to do. Don't wait. Start before you're ready. Number five, and we've touched on this a little bit in previous weeks this month, but celebrate your mini steps. You've got to party with your progress, okay? If you are taking little steps, whether it's researching, calling, you're moving forward. Remember the old uh, nursery rhyme, the old story of the tortoise and the hare, right? That tortoise he just kept on going and you think how discouraged he would be in the beginning if he looked back and, and saw how slow he was and there was no way he could get to the end. Look how far he has to go. There's no way he could possibly reach the finish line in time. You know, I mean, we do this to ourselves. Don't, don't be a discouraged tortoise, okay? Be a consistent one. Keep moving forward and celebrate that progress. Celebrate the steps that you've taken and what you've already done. And when you do that, you get momentum and you get courage and you get belief and you can see your, uh, your progress. You can see the journey slowly evolving in front of you and behind you when you take these steps. And I know I've bombarded a lot this month with uh, goals and how to achieve those and your why and your what and your how. And if you don't know what you want to do with your life, I did an episode, I touched on that, I think last week or the week before. But just starting off a new year, I just want to emphasize that you are worth it. You are a limited edition. You are one of one. And you deserve to be on your list. You deserve to take time for yourself and your dreams and what fills your cup. So if you need help doing that, you can check out my website. Again, I would be honored to walk through that journey with you and help you see progress in your life if you're discouraged and drowning and you can't get there yourself. There's great solutions for that as well. But I love you guys and remember these five steps because guess what? These five steps will help make your dreams happen, okay? Uh, it's just little, little things every day that make such a huge difference. And don't forget, don't get discouraged. Um, if we're lucky enough and blessed enough, we'll, all, we'll have another day to um, start over and try again. And one of my very favorite quotes um, that I used, that I, I use when I speak um, in, religiously if for different um, events is a quote by Thomas S. Monson and it's on courage and he says courage is a little voice at the end of the day that says I'll try again tomorrow and I'm telling you sometimes all I can do is brush my teeth and feed my kids and those are victories and those are baby steps and we have to look at that and say um, give ourselves grace as well and say we've done enough for the day and tomorrow is another day and we're going to try again. But don't get discouraged. Keep trying. And I believe in you. Believe in yourself. God believes in you. And if you need his strength and courage, don't we all? Uh, I have My life has changed by um, relying on my Savior, Jesus Christ, going to my Father in Heaven. Whatever your connection is to deity, plug into that. That helps give you strength and move you forward when you don't have strength of your own. And I can testify to that in my life, countless times going through uh, a cancer diagnosis and the loss of a loved one, divorce, um, fractured relationships, you know, I have run the gamut of my personal um, personal problems and personal trials as well. And I know through all of it, um, God has been there for me if I choose to invite him in. So anyway, invite him in. Remember these five action steps and you will see progress in your life towards a beautiful future.